Research shows that 90% of young people and 71% of the rest of the general population check their phones within 10 minutes of waking up first thing in the morning. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, messages, emails, back to Instagram, refresh email, receive a message from your mom that says, why don't you answer my calls? Now you feel guilty. So you get a rush of dopamine by refreshing Instagram and realizing you got one more like on your recent post. Now you feel a little bit better until you reload Facebook again, only to see that your ex-boyfriend is dating someone new. You get a news update about the war in Ukraine and for a second you feel bad, but then you're just numb because you've become so accustomed to bad news. You commit to making a donation towards sending canned foods to Ukrainian refugees, but you don't have your credit card on you. So you brush it off for now. You'll get to it later, you think, but then later comes and you forget. Finally, it's time for coffee. So phone still glued to your hand. You proceed onto your day with your daily routine. Bathroom, brush your teeth, check your phone again and onto coffee. The caffeine helps you relieve some of the anxiety you experience from all of the phone drama, but then you check your phone again and this time your boss sends you an email with a new task deadline that feels impossible. Think about your morning a little differently for a second. What if the moment you woke up, your first thought was, What is the reality I want to experience today? What if the stories you told yourself about yourself today were, I'm no longer willing to feel unworthy. I'm no longer going to feel guilty or fearful or anxious or stressed. Your thoughts, speech, and actions manifest the reality you are currently living. Fear, guilt, anxiety, those emotions can be the old you if you commit right now to a new you. According to Jewish wisdom, we know the mystical Hebrew truth that goes, Sof ma'aseh machshavat chila, which translates to, the end result exists in the initial thought. The end result exists in the initial thought. This means that your first thought of the day will result in your manifested reality. Did you know that if upon waking up in the morning, you thought to yourself, what is the reality I want to experience today? And you spent one minute answering that question, your entire reality would start to rewrite itself. I'm going to leave my sadness and anger behind me and open myself up to love and possibilities. If you set the intention to, first thing in the morning, feel even one second of joy, gratitude, inspiration, or anything positive, instead of reaching for your phone within the first 10 minutes, you would begin to manifest a life you're crazy about. Your priority then becomes maintaining that elevated state of feeling good throughout your entire day. If you are able to maintain this state, then prepare yourself because something miraculous will soon unfold. This is the law of attraction, or in the language of Kabbalah, Koach HaMoshech. Your new state of being will draw towards you happier people, exciting opportunities, larger sums of money, more positive experiences, physical healing, whatever it is you focus your attention on based on your reprogrammed self is what you will draw towards you. It's a spiritual law. You've got to get yourself out of your old habit ways of thinking, feeling, and acting, and step into a new upgraded version of you. And it's simpler than you think. Just stop waking up in the morning as your old self. Stop reaching for your phone and bombarding your mind with thoughts of what I've termed to be the three C's. 
comparison, complaints, and control. When you compare yourself to others, complain about your current life circumstances, or try to control an outcome, you return to your old ways of being. Your new way of being asks, what is the reality I want to experience today? Allow the answer to that question to fill your heart with joy, possibilities, and excitement. You will see a new you start to form. Guaranteed. Sharing is caring, so if you liked what you heard, pay it forward. Share this with a friend. And as always, happy manifesting. Happy manifesting.